darkness I lingered mid doubt and despair since bondage long held me a captive to care but Jesus delivered my soul from its chains his precious blood cleansed me from sin's guilty stains the world and its pleasures tempt me to stray. I saw not the danger that lurked on the way. The toils closed around me. I knew no release, but Jesus has found me and given me his peace. Get right with God, his pardon. Jesus is calling, oh, come unto me. Take him, O sinner, and get right with God. Praise be to God, Jesus is coming again. This is the only hope for our planet Earth. I said it last week, I'm going to say it again. Thanks will not get better, brothers and sisters. Thank is going to be worse because we are at end time the only person that's gonna bring hope for planet earth his name is jesus today we are so happy because there is joy in heaven and we are also in chateau gay company church there is joy for us because we have two souls that's going to get baptized today. Yeah. and we had one testimony that was last week with one of our candidates his name is Caesar. Uh, we saw that last time, Camelo, about how he met God at the media, looking for, for God and finally at the media with the two angel message and the air and the media. He found a sister that were preaching, Sister Gino. He contacted them and after they contact Pastor Ronal Jambatis and after finally they contact me, we study. This man is ready to this afternoon to get baptized. So we have another testimony today. Are you happy to receive a brother, a soldier, Sullivan today for a new testimony? Anybody is happy here? Yes. I am so glad <laughs> and happy because when it's about soul to get baptized, oh, it's the time I am very happy, brothers and sisters. Even when you give me money. That is nothing, that is the only thing when I see people get baptized. That really brings joy in my heart because for only one soul, I know what is about the soul. So, Brother Sullivan, I know you're here. Can you introduce yourself to us? Can you tell us about Sullivan Valois? Yes, I sure can. Hi, everyone. My name is Sullivan Valois. Uh, I am a pure Canadian, uh, Quebecer. I'm from uh, Lac Saint-Jean, uh, Quebec, which is six hours north, roughly, of Montreal. I'm from the country, so I'm a country boy. And uh, at 18 years old, I moved, I, just to make it short, uh, at 18 years old, uh, I moved in Alberta, and I lived out there for 20 years. And I'm just, I just came back from from Alberta uh, eight months or 10 months ago, actually. So I'm back in Quebec and uh, I met the SDA group through uh, a friend of mine, which is Alexander that presented me to my sister Sheldon and Sheldon brought me to this group. So that's it. All right. So when you get to this group, finally, I know we start study. Yes. And from now on, I can tell you, brother, you know, you because you're not in this world no more. Can you tell us about your spiritual life? You know, how, what happened? What, how deep you were in this world? And now I know you decide to give your life to Christ, to baptize later. And when we study, you said, look, 
I don't want to study once. I want to study at least two times a week. You always doing your own study, your own search also. You love the word of God. But how deep you were in this world and now you choose to give your life to Christ. Yes, uh, I'll do my best to make it as short as possible. I know we don't have much time. I can mm. always uh, share my personal testimony that I wrote down in French, English, and Spanish in mm -hmm. case somebody wants to have it to share with friends or inspire people. But uh, to make it short, uh, uh, when I was a, at a very young age, uh, around 10 years old, uh, my brother was a, a Jehovah's Witness. And I did Bible study with him. And uh, I kind of met the light there for a little while till my brother quit. And then after that, I quit with him because I was young and innocent. And then uh, I lived my youth uh, with parents that didn't really stop me to do anything. So I, I started drinking, smoking, uh, doing other kinds of drugs. And uh, everything was seemed to be well uh, and everything. And then I went and uh, I didn't know what to do uh, studying in school. So I went uh, in Alberta and I started to be a carpenter. And uh, I kept drinking like I was uh, 15 years old. I, I lived my youth till I was 35 years old. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to go uh, into details and everything, but uh, at some point I got, uh, I got a girlfriend and uh, she got pregnant. And I thought uh, I see that as a, as a really good moment for me to change my lifestyle. But uh, I couldn't really change uh, as quick as I thought because uh, I was possessed. I, was, I totally felt that I was possessed by, uh, by something that was, I didn't have fully control of myself. I was totally addicted and deeply uh, uh, a drunk guy. And I went to a few uh, groups. I went to AA to quit drinking. It lasted three weeks, uh, three months. Then I did some uh, anger management class because at the same time, I didn't have much, much patience as an alcoholic and all that for saying that this lasted for three months I, I got sobered but then I started drinking again and uh, this bad guy inside of me kind of lived freely and uh, I kept drinking but now when I was drinking I was drinking by myself uh, like I've been many doing many times I was drinking by myself but uh, now that I heard all those crazy stories in those groups I kind of started to feel remorse which I never did before I kind of started to feel remorse about my sins and my lifestyle and because uh, I was always drinking till there was no more and I wasn't the problem everybody else was the problem so I started to have mm -hmm. remorse and uh, and then like I said, I could go really more in details, but right. to, be to be short, to be short, uh, mm -hmm. I, pr I prayed for God. I prayed God for light and uh, for mercy. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I kind of okay. have to go through my little story, but uh, I'll, uh, okay, so this is how I'm at. This is my, ne my next question. We will go shorter. I know now you don't drink no more. No, don't no smoke, smoke no more. You don't smoke no more. And no. I met some people before they told me they are addicted, they cannot leave drugs, they cannot leave. But how that happened to you? Will you like to share to those maybe addicted? How how that happened to you now? You don't even like you say you can't even smell those no more, those things. You no. you, you don't want to be part in them. What happened? The thing class cannot do. What happened? Who did that work on you? What did happen? It's that I prayed God. I prayed God and I asked him for mercy. And I asked him for the, 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 the remission the prayer, so he, that he forgive my sin. Mm -hmm. To give me a new heart. Amen. And to bring me light. And uh, I had a surgery appointment. And uh, that was for like in three months. And I, after I said that, uh, the Lord answered my prayer. And he got brought my my surgery closer from a week from three months to a week 
And two days after I prayed, so I totally knew it was God answering my prayer. And I'm like, okay, I gotta get a Bible because I knew I was I was being uh, gonna I was gonna be off work two weeks after my surgery. So I got a Bible and I start and I read the whole New Testament. And this and that, I just want to cry. It reopened my eyes. It gave me my life back. Mm -hmm. It gave me my life back. God opened my eyes to the minimum detail of the beauty of nature, everything that I lost mm -hmm. before, all the, the, the joy that I lost, that I couldn't see no more from, uh, from my sin. My sin was blinding me. Mm. And uh, God gave me my life back. And since mm -hmm. then... And since then, I'm training, I'm eating well. I quit smoking, drinking, yeah, smoking, man. everything I was smoking. I, I totally feel reborn. I feel yeah. reborn and I feel the blessing. Yeah. And all I, I want to do is sharing my hope, sharing sharing the good news. Because uh, I was totally yeah. lost. I was totally yeah. lost in this huge lie we live in. And uh, yes. Praise the Lord Praise and life, because I would, I would probably, I would probably be dead right now, because uh, I was really deep and uh, I was getting into all trouble. I was, I was gonna lose my family, my my house, everything. I still lost my girlfriend because of my faith, but well, this is God wills, and uh, I don't care. I'm following Jesus, and uh, this is what it is. My life, my heart is to Him. And uh, praise the Lord, and uh, I'm really grateful every day. Yeah, I study, yeah. I study sermons, watch sermons, study Bible study, read the Word every day, pray three, four times a week, three, three, four times a day. Uh, I'm really grateful, and the uh, closer I get to God, closer He gets to me, yeah. and uh, I know what is my duty, and uh, I'm alive, and it's and it's and it's yeah, from and, and all the glory goes to him and i'm, I'm alive Amen. because of him and i hold him my life and uh i'm really blessed and uh, i'm really grateful to finally get being sealed this afternoon uh i woke up at four i prayed for lord to help me to do the, this little testimony as short as possible but I, I told him to uh, help me as well to speak a little bit before my baptism Mm -hmm. uh, which is this afternoon, and I woke up at four at, four at night last night. I, I woke up, and God was spoken through my heart, and I had to write down what I have to speak this afternoon because he wouldn't let me go to sleep. It was mm -hmm. like a spirit of prophecy talking to me. I had to, to write it down, so I wrote it down, and I'm welcoming everybody to my baptism this afternoon. It will be a great blessing for everyone. Yes. <laughs> Thank uh you. Okay, my brother. Thank you. I know because of time, huh, we about to finish our interview. It's your first testimony. We have more to come. It's the first part. So I understand what men cannot do. God can do it. God has changed your life. Now you become a new born in Christ. Huh? Amen. So Amen. I praise God for that. This afternoon is your baptism. I know you're exciting. At 3 p.m., you're about to to show to the world that you not in this world no more. You give your life totally to Christ. I know you are excited. And I would like to tell you, my brother, I am proud of you. And I know as a soldier, not only you study the word of God, you plan also to have your student soon. Because you told me, brother James, we study, but I have another student that need to start soon. I told you, look, you can do Bible study, so I will be with you and your Bible study very soon. So I know soon you're going to start your Bible study also. So what I would like to ask you this morning to finish, because of time, we have a lot of questions, but we are about to finish. What will you say to those people that still think they have time and According to the Bible, we know time is now when God calling you. And what will you tell also those who think they can be ashamed to preach the gospel to others? They're ashamed to share the word of God. What will you tell those people? Those who think they have time to give their life to Christ and those who are ashamed to preach the gospel. What will you tell those people in one, two minutes? 
uh, will tell them that uh, to not wait. Don't wait till you're perfect because even myself, I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. But God will still work on us. And uh, you never know. You can die this afternoon. You can die tomorrow. And this is the end of your probation. Don't wait for this. And uh, uh, and study. And uh, what was the second question? I'm sorry. Uh, About those who are ashamed also to preach the gospel. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, don't be ashamed. <clears throat> don't be ashamed. Uh, we have to be like David. And, you know, the fact of uh, being proud of our God. And uh, there's a, and there's the, the, the big thing about this, don't be ashamed because mm -hmm. who's there for you? Who's there to judge you? Remember that there's only one that will be judging you at the end of time. And it won't be no one, uh, no one of them. And mm -hmm. they'll be sad. They'll be sad too that you haven't told them. That's what it is. And you'll be judged not telling them too. So uh, if you know it, share it. And it, there's... There's nothing more rejoiceable than sharing the word of God and seeing hope in people, hope in people's eyes, because we live in a sick world and people need the word and people need the hope. And uh, that's what people get sick about because they don't know the truth, you know, and uh, share it for the good of everyone and for your own good. I met some people also, they say they confuse in those days. They're confused and they said, look, we don't know where to go, which church to go. And what exactly, you know, drive you, you know, attract you to the Sabbath truth? We know in the Bible, the Bible say God bless only one day, hallow it, and God rest on it. That is the Sabbath day. That is my last question. What attract you? All those churches we have in this world. So what attract you? To come to the remnant church, the church that God has chosen eh, from the beginning to put in this world. What attract you from all those churches? I remember me when I was in Sunday. I was born in Sunday. My dad used to be a pastor. I pray before God attract me to the white place. What what attract you? What what what, what how that happened exactly? Well, well, I truly believe it's God that brought me to this church because uh, through all my study. Uh, through all my study and uh, my search, uh, I found out about that uh, Constantin is the one that changed the day of worship. And uh, uh, through yes. all my search and mm -hmm. to, 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 I want to glorify the Lord and I want, I want to be right to right uh, towards his eyes. I want him to see me as a true servant and for this you need to be obedient and if you do your search you'll find out that mm -hmm. yes you need to keep the law and uh and the, the, that jesus didn't came and abolish the law he came to fulfill the law and uh yes by uh, knowing the truth and by knowing that this church is the true church that that sticks with the bible and the truth and the law, I can't go wrong. I rather, right. I rather, I rather be safe than sorry. All right, thank you, Brother Sullivan. I know at three p.m. today is your baptism. Because yes. of time, we're going to end the interview. It's the first part of my Brother testimony. If you need to hear more from Brother Sullivan Valois at three p.m., be in our Zoom where we have the baptism at South Shore, the Zonier at St. Lambert. If you need the address, you can contact us for the address, but those who will like to go, you can go to assist them, to encourage them. And if you cannot go over there, but we will be on our Zoom. So you will be there at 3 p.m. I know Sister Sheldon will be there to put it on Zoom for us. You can be on Zoom to see the baptism at 3 p.m. May God bless you, Brother Sullivan. And I Amen. count on you as a soldier. I know you're not going to be just a member. You're going to be a disciple. I yes. remember Wednesday, we spoke about that last Wednesday. I told you I'm waiting for a disciple, not a member. That means you're going to bring more disciples to Christ. You already start preaching the gospel. I'm so glad of that. And we all, we are very happy to receive you. And the 21 million, huh, that is the 
Church of God, you are welcome in this family. So Amen. You, Thank you. if you would like to be there at Twee, we invite you. And also, brothers and sisters, it's not too late to bring a soul. If you have one person, if we have one person here that need to get baptized later at 3 p.m., it's not too late. You can contact me, one of the elders, Pastor Delwa is there. Contact us, say, yes, I want to receive my visa. I want to do my citizenship at 3 p.m. to baptize with Brother Sullivan, to baptize with Brother Camelo. We have another sister in South Shore. I want to add my name in the list. Yes, there is place for you. If you have a family, you can call and we can put their name. So we don't know what will happen next week. Praise God, we have internet, we have church now. We don't know what will happen in the next months because the enemy is working. Like I said last week, they closed church for a certain time. We were on Zoom. We don't know when they will close the internet. We don't know what will happen soon, but give your soul to God if you're not baptized yet. If you have a family, invite them. We still have place for baptism later. Set his promise of the transforming grace and power to live a loving, Christ centered life in your home and for the world? Yes. yes. Do you believe that the Bible is God's inspired word, the only rule of faith and practice for a Christian? And do you come to spend time regularly in prayer? And Bible study? Yes. Do you accept the Ten Commandments and the transcript of the character of God and the revelation of His will? Is your purpose by the power of the indwelling Christ to keep this law, including the fourth commandment, which requires the observance of the seventh day of the week as the Sabbath of the Lord and the memorial of creation? Yes. Do you look forward to the soon coming of Jesus and the blessed hope when this mortal shall put on immortality as you prepare to meet the Lord? Will you witness to his loving salvation by using your talents in personal soul winning endeavor to help others to be ready for his glorious appearing? Yes. Do you accept the biblical teaching print of spiritual gifts and believe that the gift of prophecy is one of the identified marks of the Reverend Church? Yes. Do you believe in church organization? Is it your purpose to worship God and to support the church through your tithes and offerings? and by your personal efforts and influence? Yes. Do you believe that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? And will you honor God by caring for it, avoiding the use of that which is harmful, and abstaining from all unclean foods from the use, manufacture, or sale of alcoholic beverages? From the use, manufacture, or sale of tobacco in any of its forms for human consumption, and from the misuse of our traffic or trafficking in narcotics or other drugs? Yes. Do you know and understand the fundamental Bible principles as taught by the Seventh-day Adventist Church? Do you purpose by the grace of God to fulfill His will? by ordering your life in harmony with these principles? Yes. Do you accept the New Testament teaching of baptism by immersion and desire to be so baptized as a public expression of faith in Christ and in the forgiveness of your sins? Yes. Do you accept and believe that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is the remnant church of Bible prophecy and that the people of every nation, race, and language are invited and accepted into its fellowship. Do you desire to be a member of the local congregation of the world church? 
Yes. Okay, so you heard them answering these 13 questions in the affirmative. We're going to ask right now for a motion that we accept these candidates into full membership and fellowship. Is there a motion? I move that the South Shore Seventh day Adventist Church accepts Lorraine Phillip as a member subject to baptism. Is there a, a motion for him? Okay. Second. All in favor? Right. I move that Sullivan Balwa and Carmelo Cesar be accepted in the Shadigate Seventh Day Company as member subject to as members subject to baptism. Everybody is there a second? Second? All in favor of lifted right hand. Great. Wonderful. It's character. It's a wonderful thing for these candidates and that they have all the different experiences. But we have uh, uh, Sulva who really wants to share with us a bit of time to do this. Just so we really have a lot of experience to share. But he's just going to share one of them with us. Yes. Okay, so thank you all for being here. Thank you for welcoming me, your precious family here. Um, I just want to say a quick word. I think uh, that's my duty. Uh, I want to say a little bit of some, something that uh, is it's brief, but bear with me because uh, I wrote it really quickly for a couple of morning this morning. So, uh, so God will answer any prayer to any faithful servant. We have to be honest, as we can beat the words are our heavenly Father, just as faithful as He is to forgive our sins, just as He is also to answer our prayer. Uh, we have to ask Him every day that His will be done through us, as long as our prayers are according to His will, which should be our right focus, He will make those happen. Uh, what is greater than doing the uh, what is greater than doing his will? Nothing. Oh yeah, <laughs> This is what makes truly the the heart of man happy, let, uh, let me tell you. Let's not be fooled by the things of this world. Instead, let's be inspired from our ancestor, ancestor like David. Let's be courageous and feed on the word of God. Let's remember the Sabbath, let, uh, like we have been told, but let's also remember our mission on this planet Earth, which is to spread the good news of salvation. But no. oh, okay. oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's carry our father legacy to his people for his glory sake. Let's 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 praise him, sing, and rejoice, uh, make the angels and the Holy Spirit proud to be our supporters. Okay, 
faisons les anges, les anges et l'Esprit Saint viennent à être notre supporteur. Let's praise him, sign, and rejoice, make the angels proud to be our supporters. Okay, maybe I should be both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's show everyone how much fun it is to be a Christian. Let's all uh, come out from home, come out and play something like that. Okay. When you source and depend on the Word of God, when you source and depend on the Word of God, which is the bread of life, it is, which is the bread of life, which is written. Men cannot live by bread alone, by, by every word that comes out of God's mouth. Sorry about this. Which is the king of faith of Dieu. Il est écrit que l'homme ne peut pas se nourrir seulement de pain, mais il doit se nourrir aussi de tout ce qui sort de la parole de Dieu, qui sort de la bouche de Dieu. By experience, I can tell you that closer you get to God, closer God will get, uh, closer God will get to you. Par expérience, par expérience, je peux vous dire que plus, uh, plus que vous vous rapprochez de Dieu, plus que Dieu va se rapprocher de vous. Feed your mind and with, feed your mind, uh, feed your mind and body, which is the, the temple of the Holy Spirit, with heavenly food. Uh, and the Spirit will thank you and ask for more. Par uh, expérience, je peux vous dire, nourrissez votre esprit et votre corps. Nourrissez votre esprit et votre corps. Le corps qui est le temple de l'Esprit Saint. La bonne nourriture céleste. Et votre esprit en te redemandant. The situation I lived in the past, you know, when I went through, uh, most people would have been depressed, anxious, naked, probably get dizzy because they were so anxious. But for me, even, I was by myself, but I was never by myself. I was with the Lord and Amen. Uh, it changed my life. And uh, so, the situation I lived in the past, I lived in the past, and the situation I lived in because for man lots is impossible, but for God everything is possible. Amen. When I got to the lowest point in my life and prayed for night, is when Jesus brought me back up to my feet and also brought me closer to him so I may live. Au plus bas de, au plus bas point de ma vie, j'ai fait une prière, j'ai fait une prière et demandé la lumière à Jésus pour qu'il me remette la bonne sur mes pieds et aussi, et aussi pour qu'il me rapproche de lui pour que je puisse vivre. I lost my girlfriend. I lost some friends because of my faith and for the name of Jesus. But his word, his word, but his word is, is worth it of this temporary life. Uh, uh, right. But what is worth of this temporary life compared to being the center of life? Yes. Yes. I have lost my friends because of my faith, but I lost the name of Jesus. Mais tout est écrit dans l'œuvre que c'est ça que ça arrive, que ça arrive, que ça arrive. Mais tout, mais c'est quoi, qu'est-ce que ça arrive, qu'est-ce que ça arrive, qu'est-ce que ça demande temporaire pour comparer à la vie éternelle? Jésus, Jésus a dit, « Gain treasure in heaven, where things last forever. » Jésus a dit, « Gagnez-vous des trésors dans le ciel, où ce que les choses durent pour toujours. » What is worth? To gain the whole world, but to lose your soul. Qu'est-ce que ça coûte gagner tout le monde et toutes les choses de ce monde et perdre ton âme? Mighty people, you guys, mighty people of the mighty and truly living God, rise up. Vous, vous tous, peuple de Dieu, on est les peuples 
du Dieu Tout-Puissant, vivant. Levez-vous, be happy, patient, and, and strong through the, your tribulation, because your reward will be worth it for those who will enter till the very end. Soyez happy, soyez joyeux, patient et fort dans toutes vos tribulations. Euh, parce que votre récompense vaudra la peine et cela c'est pour tous ceux qui vont endurer jusqu'à la vraiment jusqu'à la fin. Let no let let not be deceived by the things of this world, which will perish, which ever with everything that your eyes can see. Let ne soyons, ne soyons pas déçus par les choses de ce monde. Euh, euh, ces choses vont toutes périr. Et avec toutes les autres choses que vos yeux peuvent percevoir. Instead, let's focus and have faith on things we cannot see. À place, restons concentrés et avons la foi sur les choses que nous ne pouvons pas voir. Because this is where we belong. Like Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. Otherwise, they would have fight for me. Uh, comme Jésus a dit, comme Jésus a dit, euh, il ne faisait pas partie de ce monde. Comme il dit, son royaume, son royaume ne fait pas partie de ce monde. Autrement, ils allaient combattre pour moi. We are, we are prince and princess from the greatest king, from the greatest kingdom, the kingdom of God. Amen. On est les princes et les princesses du plus grand royaume, le royaume de Dieu. May the kingdom rise in history as as we may know, but 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 the one that is and they all fall down, by the way. But but the one that is coming is gonna last forever. All the tous les royaumes qui sont levés avant nous dans l'histoire vont tous tomber. Mais celui qui s'en vient va durer pour toujours. Don't you want to be part of it? Uh, and bring your close one with you. Veux-tu, voulez-vous pas faire partie de ce royaume, de ce royaume et à amener vos proches avec vous? Let not forget that Jesus had to go through to give us access to this great place. In heaven, in heaven, one thing will stay for, will stay from the old world and it's Jesus cards in his hands and feet to remind us of his suffering and sacrifice. Uh, ne laissons pas oublier ce que Jésus a passé au travers pour nous donner accès à ce royaume et à cette place. Dans le ciel, dans le nouveau Jérusalem, il y a seulement, il y a seulement une chose qui va rester du vieux monde. Ça va être des cicatrices dans les mains là, sur les pieds de Jésus pour nous rappeler de toute la souffrance qui a passé au travers pour nous emmener dans ce royaume. Donc, donc, tu dis que nous les hommes, que nous les that we hope there may be a little bit of suffering ourselves, so others may live also. Passez-vous donc pas qu'on doit un peu, on doit un peu de souffrance nous autres mêmes envers le monde pour que les autres puissent vivre. This is why I have given my heart to Jesus and sacrificed my life to his work because the harvest is vast, but the workers are few. Euh, c'est pourquoi que je donne mon cœur à Jésus et que je sacrifie ma vie, ma vie pour son travail, parce que, parce que la, la moisson est grande et il y a peu de mm -hmm. Together, we can make a difference of making the new Jerusalem from great to greater. Ensemble, nous pouvons faire la différence de rendre le nouveau Jérusalem de grand à très grand. Alors, So, children of God, let's unite, make, make change in our lives that will glorify and make our true and only Father in heaven happy. Also, for that where we went, we may be also. So, may God, may God bless you. So, uh, our Father Dieu, please. Our Father Dieu, please, on you. Faisons des différences, faisons des changements dans nos vies pour glorifier, pour glorifier le, notre vrai Père Céleste dans le ciel et le rendre heureux. Pour que, aussi, pour que, où il est, nous, 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 nous soyons aussi. Amen.
May God bless you, inspire you, inspire you, and guide you to transfer you. Amen. Can you tell me this experience? And you get the most of it. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, everyone. Amen. That is indeed a wonderful sermon testimony. For Selena, he he has a great he has a great experience in that. I can tell you that. Uh, I remember the last time he was supposed to be in a baptism here, and because of the Sabbath, he was in a job that he had to work on the Sabbath. They prayed and God gave him another job that he doesn't have to work on the Sabbath. Amen. So you see, his faith is strong. He has given his heart to Christ. We're happy for his, his decision to follow Jesus. So let us follow ahead for prayer at this time as we go to the water. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for these candidates. You have called them, Lord, at such a time like this. We thank you, Lord, that you are here for them. Every heartbeat of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for their decision. Uh, we pray that you will continue to lead them and guide them step by step as they come to the kingdom of God such a time like this. So we pray for them and their families. We pray all that you will bless them, bless their family, bless their friends, that someone will come to, to, to support them. We pray for them. We pray that the church will support them as they uh, give their life to Jesus Christ. And Lord, when that day shall come, when Jesus, Jesus shall come. We pray that by the grace of God, all of us will have the grand privilege of going home together, even those who haven't uh, accepted you as yet, even if you're here and they have not accepted you, but they will come, Lord, before it is eternally too late. So by the grace of God, may all of us go Get ready for the kingdom that will come when Jesus comes. And all of us will go home with you to spend the ceaseless ages of eternity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. So the, uh, our deacon, the deacon has some support us will help us if we get ready for the baptism. <laughs>
Jesus is all the world to me, my friend in trials so I go to him for blessings and he gives them all and all. He sends the sunshine and the rain. He sends the and grace. Sunshine and rain, I will send it. He's my Le travail n'est pas commencé, mais quand elle va sortir de l'eau, le travail va commencer alors elle a besoin de support. Alain est là et Helen est là, les deux pour supporter la mère. Les membres de son église vont être toujours là pour la supporter. On vous demande de prier pour elle. So, Lorraine, from the profession of your faith, in your Savior Jesus Christ, you have renounced the world in a simple way. And so, as uh, minister of the gospel, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We will continue with him 190. Just put it without the music, Brother Jerome. Just put the words on the screen. So we have uh, the son of God who has come to the water. We are waiting for this guy for a long, long
So we we'll all sing together. Sing with me, brothers and sisters. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Don't drive the song. Let's sing it. Happy. Jesus loves me, this I know. Heaven's gate is open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. So we have a wonderful, we have a wonderful experience too. What is that? What do you want to say? It is about eight months. Uh, he has seen on the television and he was put into contact. To, to the message. He was on the message to end time. Okay. And from this message, God has inspired him to look for the truth, to search for the truth. And this is why he asked to the secretary of the organization to, to help him to find someone somewhere to study and to have and to be baptized. Amen. Amen. And after a while, don't go too fast, I miss your words. And then after a while, he spoke to the secretary, Sir Janine. And I told her, I will not be discouraged. I will continue. That I will find a way to be baptized. And we to all of us on the gloire à Dieu. Amen. Praise the Lord. That that when I spoke to her, she got me into contact with Brother James at uh, Chateau Gay. And this is it after two months approximately. He started studying with Brother James. And there he is today. Amen. So once again, we say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, some people in this experience, uh, you know, the largest has come from the church of the living God. So uh, the millennial from the profession of your faith, in your Savior Jesus Christ, I God baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.